Where did I get the material for this window? I had it right in my house. I didn't even know I had in it. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made windows for my cardboard dollhouse. I want to remind you that I am choosing to only use materials that I already have in my house. So I'm not going out to buy anything new with this project because I want to make this project affordable for anyone so anyone can do it. Since I am an artist, I also collect frames. I love to shop secondhand shops, thrift stores, antique shops. So when I find some cheap frames, I pick them up. I have a collection of frames. So I went to my closet store of frames to see if any of those frames that I have had any plexiglass in them. And behold, I found a large poster with plexiglass. Plexiglass is often used in place of glass for very large framed pictures because a large piece of glass would add excess weight to the framed work. Plexiglass is much lighter. I discovered that the plexiglass was glued onto the frame in four places, just a few inches, but on all four sides. I first tried prying it with a butter knife, but I almost broke it. So I needed a way to unglue it. Then I remembered that I keep Goo Gone, which is really perfect for removing sticky messes. I use it to take um, residual glue from, from stickers that they put on picture frames. I sprayed each area, let it sit for just a moment. Then I was able to easily pry the plexiglass from the frame. Awesome. Next, I pulled out my mat cutter that I use to cut mats for artwork and using my glass cutter, I cut the pieces of glass. I made the pieces larger than my window because I plan to glue them to the exterior walls. <laughs> I used a transparent craft glue to affix the plexiglass to each of the window openings. The extra edges will be covered up when I add the siding. That's why I want to put the glass on before I do the siding. To make a frame around the window, I cut strips of foam core because it has a thickness that I want because I'm, you know, I'm thinking ahead of the siding that's going to go on. And the foam core is another material that I also use when framing artwork. Usually I put it as a backing. So I have lots of that on hand. I even save the scraps because foam core is an excellent building material when making small projects.
my assistant is interested in this project. She likes watching me work and playing with my supplies. I think she thinks I am playing. Perhaps I am. So she plays too. <laughs> As a card maker and a crafter, I also have some quilting strips on hand. Since they're cut so perfectly, they make a good grill or a grid for the little windows. It is helpful to have this type of tweezer to hold glue and to place the thin strips of paper in their place.
in my next video I will show you how to finish off the window frames inside and also we're going to do the framing of the doors and baseboards and crown molding all made from cardboard well actually chipboard or mat board be sure to subscribe so that you can follow along as we make this cardboard dollhouse look like a real dollhouse I will be making furniture and cabinets too. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.